Namaste. Welcome to the next video of Machine Learning Practice Course. In this video, we'll use Rich Classifier to implement the Zero Detector model. The Rich Classifier cast the classification problem as a least square classification problem and finds the optimal weights using matrix decomposition techniques like SVD. To train a Rich Classifier, the label should be plus 1 and minus 1. The rich classifier by default uses L2 regularization, but we will be setting the value of regularization rate alpha to 0 and train it without any regularization. So first, we uh, we construct the labels. So for the negative examples, we assign labels of minus 1 and for positive examples, we assign label of plus 1. Here the positive example corresponds to images of digit 0 and negative examples are images of rest of the digits. Let's look at the rich classifier as implemented in sklearn and its parameter. So alpha is the regularization rate. It is set to 1 by default. Fit intercept is true by default. Then, then solver is auto. So rich classifier automatically selects the solver based on the data. And note that the normalized parameter is now deprecated. So here, we define a pipeline object with two stages. The first stage is the min max scalar that is used for preprocessing or scaling of each pixel value between 0 and 1. And the second step is the rich classifier that implements the least square classification method. We train this model by calling a fit on the pipeline object by passing the feature matrix and label vector. So after calling the fit, the model is trained and we use the trained model to make prediction on the test set and we evaluate the performance of the classifier on the test set with classification report API. So we first make prediction on the test set and we get the predicted labels, we compare these predicted labels with the actual labels and obtain classification report that contains measures like precision, recall and F1 score. So if you compare for the class 1 which corresponds to the, the digit 0 has got lower recall than the methods that we have used so far. The precision is comparable, it is 0.95, it is slightly lower than the earlier methods, but recall is quite low than the earlier methods, recall is 0.87 in this case, and the F1 score is 0.91. On the negative example side, precision, recall and F1 scores are comparable to the earlier methods. In order to train, the rich classifier in a robust manner, we use cross validation based training. So we use cross underscore validate API and pass the pipeline object as an estimator. We also pass the feature vector and the labels. We set the number of cross validation folds to 5 and use precision recall and F1 as scoring functions. We request the API to return the training score and estimators by setting those respective flags to true. So after the model is trained, what you see is you see five different estimators that were trained on different folds. You have the time it took to fit these estimators on different folds and the scoring time and F1 score precision and recall on test and training sets. So among these different estimators, we can find the best estimator that, that has 
the best score which is best f1 score on the training set so we use np.argmax on the train f1 score and find out the index of the best estimator and we can see that the best estimator is at index 3 because we start from index 0 this is the best estimator that we have which is the fourth estimator on the list we obtain the best estimator and use it for predicting labels on the test set we use the predicted label to evaluate the performance of the classifier with classification report api we obtain precision recall and f1 score you can compare this classification report with the earlier classification report where we trained the rich classifier without cross validation the recall has improved by one percentage point earlier the recall was 0.87 now we have recall of 0.88 the precision has remained unchanged now let's see what these different classifiers have learned about digit zero so we have different classifiers the first couple of them based on the stochastic gradient descent then we have one with logistic regression and uh, the one that we that we implemented in this video is based on the rich classifier what we have done is we obtain the weight vector for different models and we reshape the weight vector into 28 cross 28 grid and if weight vector if the if the weight is less than zero then we set it to zero and you can see that when we plot the weight matrix for these four classifiers we can see different patterns that were learned for weight so these are the pixels that have got positive values for hgd classifier for regularized hgd there are certain pixels in this region we are which are present here which had got lower weightage are driven down to zero and these pixels have gotten the higher values the classifier obtained based on logistic regression is very similar to what we obtained with hgd the classifier obtained with ridge is quite different from the other three methods and this mainly happens probably because many of these pixels were having values less than zero and that's why we are not showing them we have uh, you know set those uh, weight values to zero and that's why you see uh, a black patch uh, in between where other classifiers have put certain weights on those pixels surprisingly the rich classifier put some weight on the pixels at the at the boundary so in this video we used another classification technique which is rich classifier which uses least square classification technique for training the model for detecting the digit zero in the image we also visualized a weight matrix learned by different classifiers